Howdy folks. Hope everyone is well. Looks like my uh, looks like my phone is stuck. <laughs> <coughs> One of these days, I'm gonna get a real. I don't know. I think I really think they're slowing these phones down. I this phone really. I've made like almost 300 videos with this phone. And now it doesn't work. Oh, wait. Just when I start talking negatively about the phone, it's working. Morning, Carlos Contero, Edward Sweet, The Writing Lefty. Good morning, The Writing Lefty. Trixel Star. Let's see, we got Trixel Star and. Mike Summerall, Vincent Oaks, Richard, David, Muggsy, it's good to see you all. And uh, I'm uh, on my way to a doctor's appointment. And uh, this is, you know, part of, if you're going to be losing weight and trying to get skinny and all that there, changing your body regimen, uh, you need to stop by a doctor. Uh, and and make sure everything is copacetic. I would like to take this morning to say happy birthday to the father of the mighty Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club Nation. Thank you, Lucky 36, for your donation, sir. In 1972, Paul Pet Perry received a Honda 405 Scrambler from his best friend who didn't want the bike anymore. Back then they all were getting vans and they had van clubs and everybody had a cool decked out van. And nobody was thinking anything about any motorcycles. So this guy had this Honda 405 Scrambler or was it a 305 Scrambler? Oh my goodness my memory. But he had this uh, 405 or 305 scrambler, <clears throat> and <coughs> he gave it to Paul Pet Perry, who took the motorcycle and started learning how to ride it. And he had so much fun uh, on this motorcycle, such a blast did he have that his friends wanted to learn how to ride it too. So there was a neighborhood called Mount Hope in San Diego, California, which is still exist today, but it was bigger. And they decided to turn that neighborhood into the 805 freeway. So they came in and condemned all the homes bottom them up and tore them down. But they left all the streets standing for a year or two until they got around to building the highway. So what better place to learn how to ride a motorcycle than in a neighborhood full of nothing but streets? No stop signs, uh, no traffic, no houses just streets and him and his friends would take that motorcycle that 405 or 305 scrambler Vincent Oak said he was born in 72 great year and uh, he took that 405 or 305 scrambler and they learned how to ride it riding back and forth through that neighborhood, screaming with their afros blowing in the wind. There was no uh, no kind of uh, dumb thing like uh, uh, 
helmet laws or anything like that. So each brother started buying a motorcycle. So it wasn't good enough to just ride the one anymore. Everybody had to have their own. This is how the Black Sabbath got started. And eventually they were riding together as a group. All having learned on that one 305 or 405 scrambler. And they developed a camaraderie, a friendship. And they started going to biker events. Uh, somebody said, wasn't this yesterday's topic? Oh, what happens is if the topic didn't change, what happens is um, the phone is so screwed up. Sometimes it'll change the topic, sometimes it won't. Today's topic is called the uh, duties of the old school secretary. That's what today's topic is. And I won't be able to change the topic minder until I edit the video a couple of hours from now. And I'm sorry about that. So, um, in any event, um, they get this um, Honda, and they're practicing, and they become great friends. They start going to biker events, start hanging out with bikers, and doing motorcycle events. And they're having a really, really great time. So... They start hanging out in each other's garages on Sunday after church. And probably there was 10 or 12 to start with, but the group narrowed down to a thrifty seven. Seven brothers who rode on Sundays after church to hang out and get to know uh, one another. And... Um, so now they were starting to develop into a true kind of like a club. And they were hanging around all the motorcycle clubs. It hadn't dawned on them that they should be a motorcycle club. But the wives became what wives become. Suspicious. Too many wild ass women hanging out where my man is. And the wives decided to make a power move. And they told the men, you cannot meet any longer on Sundays in the, our garages. You're keeping up too much noise. Yeah, all those guys are married. You're keeping up too much noise out there drinking, smoking pot. No. Hell no. Tearing up and down the neighborhood with them motorcycles, popping wheelies and stuff. Our neighbors are calling. You guys stand out there till 10, 11 o'clock on a Sunday night, and you know you got to be at work tomorrow morning. No, no more. And all the wives came at one time. Good morning, Michael Raby. This is Spider of the Mighty Wild Bunch MC. Hey, Wild Bunch from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I have nothing but hell of a love and respect for for you, brother, keep doing what you do. I love you guys, the Wild Bunch. Great guys, man. Thank you, brother.